Welcome to Gym Talk with Mike. I'm Mike Burnett, Director of Gymology here at Gym Shopping, and today we're going to talk about five different curl rings. So I talked about the four types of pearl strands that you'll find, but let's talk a little bit about other types of pearl. If you look at this ring display here, I've got five different rings. The one in the very middle is a nice bulgari featured ring. It has mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is going to be a layer of the shell itself that we use. Gives you that nice look to it. Next to that, you have mabe pearl. Mabe pearl, often referred to as a blister pearl, is where we attach a half dome bead to the side of the shell. It serves as an irritant, hence the word blister pearl. And then we actually pull it out, we cut it off the shell itself, hollow it out, but it gives you that mother of pearl finish that you have. Very similar, but it has a very domed look to it. The other two are gonna be just what we refer to as button pearls. I got a South Sea and an Akoya here. Button refers more to the shape. You'll notice it has a very, more of a flat bottom, not quite as flat as the domed Mabe pearl, but it's not as traditional round that you'll typically see. Two more I wanna talk about. The first is what we call a Baroque pearl. Now there's an old joke that in this business that a Baroque pearl got its name because it looks Baroque. Uh, it's just a very odd shape, irregular, uh, not round as you can see. A lot of these we used to just discard. We didn't use them in jewelry, but these are two prime examples that you can take any pearl itself. Everything has value to it. If you're creative, you create a style around the pearl. Somebody took these six and decided to create earrings to it. That's just a phenomenal piece a large pearl, certainly something that you wouldn't discard today. Just be creative and you can make anything. At Gym Shopping, this is what we specialize in. You'll find all of the others, but we also love the unique and different. The last piece I wanna feature is the newest thing at Gym Shopping, and it's a conch pearl. Conch pearls are a little different. Conch pearls are found in the queen conch shell in the Caribbean as opposed to over in the Pacific. Much more unique and different. These have a pink color to them. You can find them in different shades of pink, orange, brown, white. Just very, very unique. The hottest thing that we find here at Gym Shopping. And you will notice with conch pearls, they also have a flame pattern to it. It gets that flame pattern from the shell itself. The more distinct that pattern is, the more valuable it becomes. The one thing that makes conch pearls a little different is all of the pearls I've talked today are sold by size or millimeter size. Conch pearl is a much denser, heavier pearl than everything else. So you're gonna find that these are actually sold by carat, very similar to gemstones, much more than millimeter size. From a rarity standpoint, I believe it's about one in 10,000 conch shells that produce a pearl. So extremely rare. Today we talked about pearls. As I mentioned earlier, pearls you absolutely have to have. There is no doubt. If you have no other piece of jewelry in your collection, a pearl strand, a pearl ring is the one essential that you have to have. This has been Gym Talk with Mike Burnett. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future episodes.